It starts by an idea, uh, an inspiration, uh, from a word, an image, uh, a man, a woman, who want to create an effect, an olfactive effect that you would wear. And, and depending on the effect, this uh, leads us to uh, an olfactive family, meaning floral, oriental, uh, citrus, uh, spicy, woody, you name it. In that case, today, it's about florals. Two new scents. Um, Liz 41 and Yang 49. It's the first time actually uh, since we were born that we are launching two fragrances in the same time. It's complex in a way because these two perfumes have very different things to say. One is very much uh, about patchouli, rose, a very woody experience which is the Ylang. And the list is very much more about bright and uh, optimism and uh, sensuality as well. It's very gourmand. And so it, it, the two of them are so different that uh, for us to, um, to open up and, and launch them at the same time, is, uh, it, it's, a, it's a new dance. For me, a scent tells a lot about uh, a person. With Eddie, we worked in our store for the first two or three years almost every day, and we saw people interacting with the smells. Um, and it's very new because usually you are in your ivory tower and you create scents and perfumes and, but you never really uh, see the interaction. Some people need a perfume that talks louder than themselves in order to hide behind it. Some people um, want indeed this perfume to enter the room before they actually enter themselves. And some others uh, need a, a quiet, shy perfume on their skin uh, in order to uh, not to mask any, any of their personality. I believe the future of perfumery is coming from a more educated person who, is actually, who will actually be able to trust his or her own intuition in order to choose a perfume. And that's actually what the Labo thrives for. We are proposing perfumes uh, for uh, an audience that is not choosing it out of their own insecurities, but uh, for people who really are able to trust their instincts.